Hey everyone, um, about two weeks ago I did a grocery haul and I bought a two pound bag of dry pinto beans and I said I was going to make refried beans with these and you guys asked for the recipe so here we go. So what I've done is I've rinsed two pounds of dry pinto beans and this is early in the morning for me so I because I'm gonna let these cook all day so I prepped everything last night so I'll just put everything in and I'll tell you what I do as I go. Um, this is the only recipe that I don't use a crock pot liner and the reason being is that at the end when we have to match all the beans I use an emulsion blender and that would not end well because it would grab the plastic. So we've got two pounds of rinsed dry pinto beans. I've got a medium onion and one medium jalapeno. Now um, you can seed your jalapeno if you want. I do not. We like a little bit of heat and so I don't seed it and I just cut up everything really small. Even though we are going to emulsify it, um, I just like everything really small so it can emulsify really nicely. Okay, then it calls for two tablespoons of minced garlic. And I kind of go a little bit big on that because we like garlic. All right, then the next step are our seasonings. There are two teaspoons of cumin, one teaspoon chili powder, one teaspoon black pepper. And then I put in about a teaspoon and a half of salt right now, and then we'll salt it a little bit later. Just dump those in. And then it calls for 12 cups of water. All right, once you've got your 12 cups of water in there, give that a little stir. Kind of try and mix those seasonings and everything and everything's going to float to the top mostly but at least your seasonings get in there and then we are going to cook it on low for eight hours or high for four to five hours i just let this cook all day my intention is to have it with dinner and then also i'm going to make bean and cheese burritos that we freeze and then we can take for lunches so i'll see you in about eight hours the longer it cooks the softer the beans so it may even be longer than eight hours because I just kind of check them and let them cook, so I'll let you know how long that takes, and we'll see you later. Okay, everyone, I'm back. It's been almost 11 hours, actually. So this can really cook all day, minimum eight hours on low. You can see my beans look so yummy. So the first thing I'm gonna do is try and see if there's any excess liquid, because it's a lot easier if the beans are thick to add liquid back in than it is if they're thin <laughs> to, I can't make them thicker. So I just kind of put a one cup measuring cup in and I'll usually get about two to three cups off. And then if they're too thick, um, I can add liquid back in. Okay, so there's a couple different ways you can mash these and it kind of just depends on your preference for how thick you want your beans. I like mine to be kind of, not really necessarily thickness, but consistency. I like them to be smooth. So I use this emulsifying blender and I think you could probably I've seen people put them in their ninja you can throw them in your blender or you could just use a masher if you don't have one I love this and I specifically bought this for the first time I ever made these beans several years ago it was like $14.99 at Walmart and I use it to also beat my eggs when I do scrambled eggs and it is amazing so I'll show you how awesome this thing is and it was worth every single penny here we go When I'm first getting started, I just kind of work them in in different spots. So those are all blended up really nice. And even if they look a little thin, make sure you give them a minute because they will thicken up upon standing. 
and can you see the steam coming off? They're really hot. This is when you want to taste test them, but like I said, be super careful because they are really spice, or not spicy, but they're temperature hot. This is when you taste them. This, usually you need to add a little bit of salt depending on your preference of flavors. The flavors are all there, but they will, I think they need a little bit of salt. So this is a really big batch, so we'll have this with dinner tonight. And then whatever's left over, I put on these large tortillas, large tortillas with some cheese, and then I freeze them in gallon bags. And then my husband has frozen bean and cheese burritos for lunch, and so do I. And they are so delicious. And you guys, these beans are virtually fat-free. They don't have all the fat and the lard and all the junk that comes in the can, not to mention the preservatives. They're so healthy. Because, you know, I'm so worried about that, clearly. But they really are. They're a good, healthy alternative to canned beans, not to mention super cheap and so delicious. Thanks so much for watching. Please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Thanks so much.